Hello, I'm John, this is March's Hobby Roundup, and you're watching Wargames Models and Other Hobbies. Hello and welcome to this Hobby Roundup video for March. I'd like to start this video by welcoming all of my new subscribers. I don't get many views on my videos, that doesn't really bother me, I just do this as part of my hobby, but I'd like to thank all those people who this month have joined this channel, looking at the shorts I've been producing and things like that. So in this roundup I'm going to talk about the things I've made, the things I've converted and the things that I've painted this month. So we'll start with the simple things that I've made, no conversions involved in any of these whatsoever, so let's just move some things aside. So. To start, I got the Wrath of the Soul Forge King, which has um, Chaos and Dark Angels in the box set. I've made two of the Chaos Obliterators so far from the Chaos side. I really like these models. They're really kind of the essence of Chaos to me with the kind of the body horror and the transmutation to the weapons and things like that. I'm still working out what um, legion I'm going to paint these as. I haven't really thought about it yet. I've just kind of put them together as a little bit of a side project. And they're really nice models to put together. As I picked up the Wrath of the Soulforge King, I thought it'd be nice to pick up Cypher as well. One of my favourite characters. Whatever you think, whether he's good or evil or somewhere in between i've always loved this character i've got previous versions of him as well i'm looking forward to painting this one up if people want me to let me know i'll do a video of me painting them i don't really do many painting videos but i'm getting more questions about how i've painted things and i might start doing a few more but drop a comment if you'd like to see me how i paint these so those are the things that i made Moving on to things that I've converted. The first one we have here is Azrael, the Supreme Master of the Dark Angels. Again, I got him with the box set that I got this month. What I did with this one, I like both the helmed and unhelmed head, so I magnetised the head. So as you can see inside just there, there's a little neodymium magnet. And on the bottom of the helmet there is one. And on the bottom of the hooded head there is one. So, all I need to do is drop the head in. And it's magnetised. Peel that out. Put the other one in. And there we have it. I think I might do the same with the little Watcher in the Dark, because he holds either a scabbard or the helmet. I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to do this so I get the option of whether I want to have Azrael with or without his helmet. Really nice model, this one. It's a really nice upgrade to a Primera Space Marine from the traditional one. He was always a tall miniature. I've got the old one somewhere. We can do a compare and contrast at some point if I ever find it. But really enjoyed working on this one. Here's the big guy that I've been working on this month. I've been doing a series of videos for this one. This is my Great Unclean one. I've always wanted a greater demon and I thought, yep, yeah, I might as well get one while I can. What I've done with this one is a few kind of minor conversions. So I've actually sculpted a head into the belly mouth on this one. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this as there's the other videos on the channel if you want to go and watch them. The main reason why I wanted to go for the three faces on here is it's to kind of imitate the three circles that you get on the Nurgle symbol. You can see them on the bottom of the sword just there. But I really enjoyed this simple bit of sculpting. But like I said, go and have a watch of the videos on these. And I'm going to be producing more of those as I carry on with this project. As it's March, I decided to do a bit of March from a crag, and I painted Teleon, 
the scout sergeant of the Ultramarines chapter. I've got a feeling this guy's going to disappear in the not too distant future as everything's going primaris and scouts are becoming less and less. But I really wanted to paint this one up. I went for traditional colours with my own little take on my painting style for the blue. And then for the camo cape, I kind of did stippling with different layers of green to create that look. Now I do have a few more classic miniatures that I want to paint up to go with him. I've got them just here, so let me just grab those. And these are the old Tyrannic War Veterans. Really fantastic models, these ones. I really like these. So I'm going to paint them up to join him. Might make a small little task force to operate around him with more of the classic models rather than the new Primaris ones. But there is the thing that I have painted. So something that I've been working on for a while is my Tiberus conversion. Tiberus the Red Wake, the chapter master of the Carcaradon chapter, or the Space Sharks chapter. I really liked the Forge World version of this, but it was always a little bit too tiny. So a while ago I decided to start a conversion based on Abaddon. So the body is the Abaddon body. And then the hands and the head are from the Forge World Tiberus model. Really awesome weapons he has. It's a combination lightning claw and chain fist. I think off the top of my head they're called Slake and Hunger. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I really, I've really enjoyed doing this one. I've been working on it for quite a while. I finished the shoulder pads and repositioned the arms this month and got it primed. I've got it as a two-part assembly, so the front of the Terminator armor comes off. You can see I've got a slightly sculpted section on the front of a shark's jaw with teeth. I've really enjoyed kind of sculpting this and putting it together. It's been one of those projects that's been on the kind of cards for a long time, and I've half started it. With the preview of the new Terminators that are coming out, I thought, oh, this is a perfect time to finish this model he is quite large compared to other models but i think that's the whole point the base is the same base as abaddon's but with a few minor changes with a head swap and a weapon swap of the marine that is being trodden on i started painting these guys up as mantis warriors if you're not familiar with the badab war it's one of my favorite periods in the 40k universe and you want me to do a few videos on it please drop a comment. I'm quite happy to go through the history of it. It's something that I really enjoy. There are lots of other videos out there anyway, but if you want to hear my take on it, just drop that comment. This is a project that I hope to carry on over April. I have managed to secure some water slide transfers for Carcaradons, the Space Sharks, so I'm looking forward to getting this one finished. I might do a squad or two to support this character. I've always wanted a Carcaradon force. So maybe 10th edition is that excuse I need to create that small little army. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I just want to thank all those people who have started to follow me over the last month. I hope you're enjoying the shorts that I'm putting out. If you haven't watched any of them, go over there on the channel and have a look at them. They vary from quick looks at miniatures to some cut down videos that I've got on the main channel. Over the next month, I hope to produce a few more of them as well as start producing a few more videos. I've had quite a few questions about certain subjects and I want to cover how I've done previous conversions, how I've painted my miniatures and that kind of thing. So for now, we'll leave it at that. And my name's John and you've been watching War Games, Models and Other Hobbies. <laughs> <laughs>